hello, it is Tracy with this week's tech tip. And this one I think is going to be a little quicker than some. I'm going to show you how to add pre-header text to your emails. And if you look here in my inbox, you can see that two of the emails have pre-header text and one of them does not. So what I'm talking about is this area right here. Now I'm, I am using Gmail. This is my personal email account. And so these are emails that I've sent to myself. Um, for people, that I'm, people who are on my list will receive these emails. But for today, I sent them to myself so you could see this. Preheader text is right here. And what that is, is it gives people a little sneak peek as to what the email will be about. And the key is this preheader text right here does not appear in the actual email anywhere itself. So I'll show you how to do that using Active Campaign. A lot of the email service providers, the, the major ones, have this ability. And so once I show you an Active Campaign, you'll probably be able to figure out how to do it in whatever email service it is that you're using, especially if you do a search for preheader text. So let me show you before we go into Active Campaign what I mean here. So this bottom one, this is my subject line. The darker black is my subject line. And then it says view in browser here, and then you can see the wording, the first line of the email. So we'll look at this, and there, I don't think there actually are images, but you'll see it's pulling this text, view in browser, and then do you remember? So we go back and look, view in browser, and do you remember, okay? you know, not, not so awesome. And some Gmail shows you preheader text. Not all email services do. Apple does. There's a few others that do, but it's becoming more and more common and programs are starting to pull this preheader text as a, into a preview so that you can see a little bit more about what the email is. So the ability to change that and make customize it to what you want it to say is getting to be more and more valuable. So here is preheader text. That time I melted off my eyebrows, that's my subject line. And then my preheader text is with photographic proof. Now, my preheader text could have been longer. I didn't have it very long. So now you do start to see the first few words of the email. I'll show you. See, have you ever. Uh, but you'll notice nowhere in this entire email does it talk about the photographic proof. I mean, there is photographic proof, but it doesn't say with photographic proof. These words don't appear anywhere in the email. Here's today's email, um, embedding videos, the sequel, and then the preheader text is because you should never host videos on your site. Okay, so that's preheader text. If you, cl if you click in here, it does not have those words anywhere in the text. Okay, so now that you understand what preheader text is, let me show you how to set it up. Now this is active campaign and this is just where I would you know put in my my text for my email that I send out every week this should look familiar to you if you are on my list and you know I'd go ahead and put in my text and I can you know insert an image block and do all these different things in well I wouldn't really put it there but um, I could do all these different things in active campaign and then when you go to, when you're finished designing your email, you go to next. And right here is where you would add your preheader text. So you click edit. And then and this is how it works in Active Campaign. There's a spot for you to put it in right here. And so then, let's see if I can... So there I've added it. I'm going to close this. This is going to be the shortest, worst email I've ever sent. I'll probably, it'll probably be off the spam charts. Okay, so I'll go down here and I'm going to just send it to myself. It's still checking for spam, so I can't send it yet. Passed. Okay, so I can send it. And just make sure I'm only sending it to myself. Yep, one contact. Okay. Send now. And it's going to take a second, but it's going to show up in my inbox. And it should have that preheader text in it. 
tech tip, how to add pre-header text, because pre-header text is awesome. And these things show up because I'm kind of hovering over, but if I move my cursor. So different email services have a different amount of characters in the pre-header text. So here you can see it was a little short, so you start to see the view and browser thing again. Uh, so you can play around with it until you know how many characters you can have uh, before it rolls over into the email. So that is how you add pre-header text using Active Campaign. But in any, any of the major email services that you're using, you should be able to put that in the support or help areas at pre-header text, and it should show up. It used to be in, in Active Campaign that I had to do it using HTML code at the beginning of my emails but now they have it automatic, so they have that spot where you can do it much more easily. So it may not be available yet on all email services, but it's worth checking out. It gives you another little place to get encourage people to open up your email. Thanks. If you enjoyed this tech tip, I hope to see you again here next week. I send these out every week via email. Thank you. Have a great week. I hope you found value in this week's tech tip. Make sure to subscribe here on YouTube. And if you have any questions or you would like to see a tech tip in the future about a specific topic, please be sure to go to Tracy at launchtechmadeeasy.com and let me know. Or pop a comment in below the video here and let me know what your question is and I'll be sure to answer it on a future episode. Bye-bye.